Then again, if you have estrogen, all hope is lost. You know who's coming back into it. Lord Cosmo, that's right, that's me. But just straight up, I'm first, you know, getting into it. I want to say straight up, straight up. I want to say it first of all, fuck Brody King. That's right, fuck Brody King. And before I even got the chance to say, because then of course we got this whole, uh, because yet again, CM Punk got a trend. Yet again, CM Punk has to be a martyr. <sighs> you know, of course, of course, the guy, the guy has to be in headlines. You know, with the whole, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's even blat It's even obvious in the title, in the thumbnail. You know, the CM Punk tr uh, supporting uh, trans kids, the trans y'all bullshit. <sighs> I said anybody, legit, straight up, anybody who supports that, who supports that pedophilia shit. Fuck you, and like I said, whoever in the audience, wherever, fuck you. Like I said, not that I have a problem. When it comes to LG, I've said this kind of said this before too. When it comes to the LGG to be community, like I said not necessarily. And I've talked to a few too. Not that I have a problem when it comes to the particular, the you know particular group. Obviously not. I don't care. <laughs> Shit, I don't, just like you don't care where I st where I stick my dick. Just like I don't care whatever you stick your. Sexual, sexual parts. You know, we go our separate ways. But, but when you try, just like this, this in the same rhetoric, you get this, you get the same treatment like everybody else. Just the same treatment as a fucking predator. You try to put, you try, you try to force your fucking ideology. You try to force what you know the, the fake shit that you believe in on on the others that they don't want to. <laughs> oh, you best, you best believe you're gonna get a triple, triple fist. Triple sandwich fist back to the fucking dome, and you see it here with Brody King, you know his dumb ass, you know his fucking yeah, I'm you know I'm Brody King virtual sickening ass, you know for the for those you know, I don't know who that is, I'm pretty sure some of y'all do, especially like yeah he's a part of uh, the stable House of New Black with Buddy Murphy and yeah Buddy Murphy and uh, Malachi Black House of Black, and I guess he yeah he responded to the tweet. I guess I gotta, uh, hold on, let me pull up my phone real quick. Straight, just unreal. It's fucking ridiculousness. I said, okay, because cool, but let me see. Alright, so yeah. What, what, why, you know, let's get to the reason why we're here today. But Brody King rips Dutch Mantel for LGBTQ comments. But I said, I, said, I, don't, I don't usually, uh, because of course I don't, you know, because I, you know, when it paid, because I actually, when it comes to myself, I have my own opinion, but I guess, but I, but though you know, it'll pr like most likely when we do this, when like like I did before talking about uh, you know Vince Russo probably solely going into the future, you know I'll probably just like respond to you know when it comes to this stuff, it'll probably just be whether it's news or just for you know uh, some type of agreement. But uh, during the whole, of course, the whole you know the controversial CM Punk uh, trans stuff support trans y'all stuff yeah it also you know we already know how it started when uh, CM Punk and FTR at the end of uh, AEW Collision they put up a sign with the uh, uh, you know of course the trans y'all sign and they put it up and he, he compared fucking outcast he get he could like compared it's a whole lot of shit but yeah comparing yeah well how the fuck do you do that to just straight up retardedness you compare fucking literally what is you know child abuse and when you're talking about just like kids being fooled and being brainwashed into being like i said just a part of you know to be a part of a, 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 another agenda but you compare being an outcast you compare <laughs> to, you know to fucking uh, you know to kids or to people, literally, people just having a being forced to have a fucking uh, to have a fucking sex change. Are you serious? But let me get back to the actual uh, why I'm here too. Like I said, I didn't get a chance to respond to the whole CM Punk uh, trans kids support, you know, trans kids uh, controversy stuff. But I'm taking my time to do it now. It said, yeah, it all started when Mantel took to Twitter. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Dutch Mantel, I guess, yeah, 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 some of y'all know who that is, if y'all don't, but, uh, yeah, he had a brief stint with, uh, you know, Jack Swagger, 
you know, when Jake Yeager was Jack Swagger back in like the early, you know, the start of the PG era in WWE. Yeah, he was a part of that with uh, Jack Swagger. We support the people gimmick. Uh, it all started with Mantel took Twitter to share a photo of the fan sign supporting LGBT community and the CM, CM Punk and FTR shared in the ring following their match on AEW Collision last night where they beat Samoa Joe and Juice Robinson and Jay White. And he said, is this a wise move? Which I also definitely agree with. Because, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, of course. Because, got it. Well, I said, like I said, definitely said with CM Punk. Because, he, yeah, he's probably he's at the center. Of, of course, you know, it's no surprise, too. Very much, like I said, in the past, you know, the way I've supported Punk and, you know, him being an outspoken person, that, which is good. But, of course, like, he just had, not only that, but, you know, him being at the center of, you know wrestlers nowadays and them being a fucking you know just virtual signaling politicians and shit like just trying to like you know they use you know they use fucking politics to want to get over now and that's the like the whole thing is it is this yeah dutch mantel he tweeted is this a wise move involving a political issues on a wrestling show i guess the issue that bud light and target have hit you know the same yeah the same other two other companies two other retarded ass dumb fucking companies that did the same thing and guess what's happening to them <laughs> Bud Light and Target have had with the LGBTQ I guess the issue that Bud Light and Target have had with the LGBTQ topic has not reached AEW this show this shot didn't make the show but the still photo was there and Brody you know then Brody King's the actual dipshit dipshit himself big big bad dipshit full of dipshit himself Brody King responded with like you probably thought it was a political issue when black people and women wanted equal rights too you old bag piece of shit uh, for, yeah first of all too to respond to that it, it being that sure the big actual the big bag piece of shit and you know secondly like are you <laughs> Do you see this, like, this literal fucking retard? You're really gonna sit there and compare, like, I said, it's like, that's why I can't stand with the whole thing. It's just for stupid as fuck, when you have just things now, of course you have the whole thing about where these, like, the parties, they try to fuck, like, whichever party, they try to, like, compare which is, like, which, are, oh, I had it, I had it bad, I had it fucked up, you didn't have it more fucked up than me, my story's, my story's more traumatic than you, oh, no, man, I, I don't think you know what I'm talking about, it's just that whole stupid shit there where, well, it's, it's retarded, what the fuck are you talking about, <laughs> like, like, what the fuck are you talking about, Brady King? Like, literally, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, bring up shit, useless shit like this to try to, like, bring in black people and women into it. So you, what, so you can, like, being that he's a friend also of CM Punk. So you, what, so, yeah, a few, a few brownie points there. Especially, you know, a few dick sucking, a few dick sucking clicks right there that you can get. So, you know, what, from CM Punk himself also. What, did you really think that was going to click right there? What, you just to, just to get a, a single, to try to attempt to get a, a dunk on somebody else just for like, regardless if there's a, if, if there's opinion or not. But you bring up this completely dumbass context, you know, to, to, you know, to try to put this all into what's going, what's currently going on right now with CM Punk. You bring all that up into this, just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Just because you talk with CM Punk? Are you serious right now? Do you know how fucking idiotic you're making yourself look right now? You're, you're fucking, you're like, just go completely, like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you, like, literally, what are you talking about? Black people and women equal, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> like, so, if it comes, to, like I said, it comes to the fact to that, of what I'm, like, yeah, I don't care, like, Go for sure, like who care? Like regardless, yeah. If they want to, yeah, you want to be gay. Like I said, regardless, if you want to have a vagina, you want to have a dick. Okay, you want to put on a wig. That's regardless for you. Like I said, er, like everybody has. Like I said, everybody has their own mindset. But what? That's not. But when you talking about bring, when, when you when you talk about uh, talking about bringing black people and women one of equal rights, and this is like a literal 
just because you know he's supporting pedophilia, right? Not just pedophilia, but uh, you know he's supporting grooming children into being brainwashed into becoming a fucking just a literal just a go just like you look like a fuck like i said you look like a, a fucking a de demented nasty ass person that's what you look like you look like a nasty ass per look, yeah you look like a nasty ass person that's what you put yourself in a light to because you look you make yourself look like a complete fucking idiot too and I mean, yeah. To, to begin with, you don't you don't make you don't make it any better for CM Punk. You know, the the guy the guy that you're trying to suck the dick off of too, or and just the, the LGBTQ community as a whole. Like I said you don't do anything to regardless. But like I said, leave it to these wrestlers or just in general, whether they're sucking off the dick of CM Punk or just trying to dump. But leave it to these wrestlers to, of course, always to want a virtue fucking signal. That's it, the thing, which I'm so fuck, I'm so sick and tired of. Leave it to these wrestlers nowadays to all they want to do, especially get over, is to go on Twitter and say some dumbass shit. So yeah, they can get likes, you can get retweets. And get people like to, and that's to uh, uselessly to get fabric, you know, superficially get people on your side. Oh yeah, you definitely won this one, Brody King. You definitely got a point. Yeah, he gay, proud up for the LGBTQ bag. Like shut the fuck up, bro. You look fucking retarded saying this shit. Fucking retarded. <laughs> well, I said it's just more like what are you what are you trying to say? You know, like I said, regardless, you just trying to the, the fact that he's coming at he's that he's coming at your boy, Fago boy, CM Punk, Mister you know Virtual Signal, Mister uh, Fake Ass Martyr himself because that's like this is that's all this is about, and when you're trying to bring all this, make this uh, what you really like just just be about that too. Like just just the whole thing is fucking retarded, and this whole. Th this whole thing with CM Punk also is fucking yeah it's it's disgusting it's inhumane it really makes me sick to my stomach and it, it that's just, just like I said this whole thing especially with that whole with the whole LGBTQ yells it's fucking disgusting and like I said whoever you know it can be you in the audience or whoever avid supporter of CM Punk fake ass come diva CM Punk you support this shit this so called yeah this LGBTQ yell fuck you Fuck every single one of you that support this. Fuck you.